Today, we're deep diving into the world or the sand dunes of Dune. Lady Jessica, we're going to be giving the backstory, what's going on currently in the movie series, and maybe a little bit of hints what's going to be going on after the story. So we have an expert with us today. Just so you know, his name is Kyle, and he's Pecos with a zero on Instagram. He's a super talented, talented artist. <laughs> Big flipping surprise. <laughs> Just so you know, we have cool Dune artwork on our bestnerdyshirts.com. We got cool Dune shirts. We got posters and other fun stuff on there too from all the different shows we cover. And just so you know, every comment entered or every comment on every video on our channel is entered at the end of the month to win a shirt from the bestnerdyshirts.com. So subscribe, get all the updates, and now we're gonna jump into Ladies Jessica's story it just sounds weird yes. saying we're gonna jump into <laughs> <laughs> let's cut that out maybe no. <laughs> okay so um little little uh you know we're gonna start out with the origins of lady jessica so as a result of the benny jesuit breeding program uh jessica was the illegitimate daughter of baron vladimir harkonnen and uh tenidia nerus um so prior to becoming Leto's concubine, she was probably referred to as Jessica Nerus mm. uh, in the Jesuit records, as opposed to Jessica Harkonnen. Right? Mm. Um, and this, of course, makes sense when uh, in later part in the Dune book, uh, you know, uh, uh, Paul refers to Vladimir Harkonnen as grandfather. Yeah. Um, and we also so, did deep dives too, talking about different connections with this too. Yes. Especially with yes. the Paul and some other deep dives. So yeah, go watch our catalog of deep dives. <laughs> it's a lot. It's becoming an anthology. Really and I'm quick. learning so um, much and I'm loving it. Yeah. <laughs> this information and her lineage was, of course, kept secret according to Bene Gesserit tradition because they've got their secret breeding program and they don't want yeah. uh, the genetics of anyone being known. They don't want their uh, secrets being let out. It's like the Illuminati of the Dune world. Yes, yes. Uh, she was raised from birth by the Bene Gesserit, so she uh, was intended to breed, uh, or they intended to breed her to House Atreides, uh, heir, who was Leto Atreides I, right, to produce a daughter who would then breed with Fade Rautha Harkonnen in order to produce the Kwisatz Haderach. Mm. Right? And I just got to say, being, the all, ultimate being. all this breeding, it sounds like Pokemon trying to get the shiny Pokemon. But keep going. <laughs> you want the stats all it the is. way up. You want a shiny male Charizard, so you takes can... ten thousand generations. It's pretty nice. <laughs> um, no one would want to play that game. Uh, so, or maybe maybe a couple people would. Yeah. Maybe some really dedicated ones. Um, the one who would not only possess now, of course, the, the Kwisatz Haderach is the one who would not only possess the genetic memories of all male and female ancestors, but also see into the future. Hot dang. Yeah. Straddle the past and future and present. And we did so, a video on the Kwisak Haderach too. Exactly. That's why Deep I'm not going to say anything stuff. more. Go check out that video about if you want to know more about that. Yeah. Don't come here. Don't come here right now. Or Don't come back go, go, go. after watching that. Yeah, come back. <laughs> you know what? Go there. Come back. All right. <laughs> okay. Back so consequently, <laughs> yeah. So consequently, Jessica was provided with the most intense and advanced mini gesture education in training because she is going to give birth to the baby that will then be the mother of the Kwisatz Haderach. So it's like big deal, right? The Bene Gesserit, you can't mess this up, Lady Jessica, you know? Um, so, during, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so with Duke Leto, um, so the Bene Gesserit uh, planned to couple Jessica with Duke Leto, uh, the first initially, you know, it appeared to work perfectly, right? Um, and uh, Jessica became the official concubine of, Le of Leto I, which allowed him to also marry, should such a political union prove advantageous for the great house, right? So the relationship, though, between the two quickly evolved into genuine love. Uh-oh. And due to this love, Jessica disobeyed her orders and gave birth to a son, because that's what Benny Jessica they can do. They can choose the sex of their child at will, Right. Uh, who would be the heir of, and of course, Paul would be the heir of House Atreides, and ultimately uh, ruined the Bene Gesserit plans. One step away from the finish line. So, now moving on to the migration, the, the House Atreides migration to Arrakis, or Dune, right? So, in 10191 AG, 
when House Atreides was given the fiefdom of Arrakis, Jessica located uh, there uh, along with Leto and Paul. So, however, their rule was, of course, short-lived. Uh, thanks to the scheme uh, orchestrated by Emperor Shaddam Krino IV and uh, Baron Vladimir Harkonnen, right? So, when House Harkonnen seized control of Arrakis, Leto was killed, and Jessica and Paul became renegades and escaped into the deep desert, eventually joining the Fremen, right? So, her grief over losing uh, Leto was somewhat soothed by the knowledge that she was pregnant with her daughter, Alia Atreides. Mm. Right? Uh, Which and... is going to be a, probably a deep dive in itself, another character. <laughs> yes, yes. We'll talk about that abomination later. <laughs> um, so uh, there are some differences in the book and the 2021 film I'd like to just, you know, mention. Right. So uh, some have criticized the movie for portraying Lady Jessica as too emotional. Right. Uh, as the book presents her as a Benny Gesserit of the highest caliber, which you know, are very good at masking their emotions and playing the political game, right? Um, which, um, so, you know, which, yeah, which means she has complete mastery of her emotions and is an adept political tactician, right? So the thing is, though, I think that Lady Jessica does, ha you know, like, you know, Lady Jessica does have emotions, but as readers, we are only made aware of this in her thoughts, right? We know she is a deep, emotive, like, emotional person, but it's only in her head, yeah, we're given insight into that, right? And also, so, too, on film, sometimes when it's a straight character, a motionless character, it's harder for us to connect to that character, true. too. So it's, it's, it's one of those things you have to make a choice, like, for a visual and then for book, right? You know, for and it, you want to – anyone that has vulnerabilities or that gets beat up or that, that have weaknesses we are more connected to mm -hmm. than someone who's perfect. That's why people probably enjoy Batman more than Superman. Superman is so perfect we can't even comprehend mm -hmm. that how perfect and everything he is but Batman's a guy who gets beat up every night and goes home to his man <laughs> to his man cave and he sits alone like so many people could relate anyways keep going <laughs> you know yeah. so and, and like so so you know similar to what Nick was mentioning so this is this is a dimension we don't have access to yeah. in in the movie right so so her worries her doubts feelings they must be made more performative, mm. right? And so the consequence, and the, you know, this is just a consequence of telling the story through a different medium, yeah. right? Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's it on Lady Jessica. Yeah, and then yeah. we know that's that's up to the current story, basically. Yes, correct. I have taken away uh, a lot of the spoilers. People, uh, so a lot of so the other stuff. Spoilers, yeah. just in case. We're just going to talk briefly about spoilers. She gets a power up yeah, in does. this upcoming. Yeah. part two and the power up's going to lead to a lot because she's also with child and that's going to have an effect it's a big ripple effect of she's going to sense you being her way up to the top yes yeah and we're going to see a very powerful jessica a lady yes. jessica which is yeah. really exciting to see um i've seen it in the 1984 dune movie would love to see it in modern telling <laughs> yes please for the love of god yeah <laughs> i wasn't a fan of the bald-headed Ben, Benny Dresser <laughs> design, but you know, I don't know. Is, is it that way in the book? Are they all bald? I don't think so. Okay, I don't okay, recall okay. descriptions. Of, yeah. Okay. Unless they choose. They're to. all air nomads. We just did an avatar last yeah. airbender. <laughs> Anyways, that's stuck on my head, that deep dive, but it's all connected. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. They do such a good job. I thought the casting was good for the movie. Um, I, I also yeah. really like the way she's portraying the character on film. I know mm -hmm. it's a little different, but that's how everything is. Lord of the Rings, we're missing stuff. Harry Potter, we're missing stuff. Dune, we're missing a lot of stuff. I mean, Dune's a big book, and how quickly they're moving through it. We're not even getting all the details of even right. Paul Atreides' uh, training before the point he gets, and even relationships he had with all of the characters that we never get to see in the in the movie, too. So. Yeah, there's Obviously, the whole dinner party scene. Yeah, there, like, the whole dinner yeah. party, which is a lot of Lady Jessica's back. Like, a lot of character yep. plots are there for her in the book, which isn't there in the movie. So, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, comment down below your favorite characters from the Dune series, things you like from the books compared to the movies or vice versa. Um, also, if you if there's other deep dives of characters you would like us to do, comment down below. Every comment's entered to win a shirt from the bestnerdyshirts.com. We got cool Dune shirts. We got a cool Dune poster. It looks really sick with the blue eyes and Arrakis and and the the dust, not the dust, the spice, the spice, the spice but it looks like dust. <laughs> the dust thing coming up. <laughs> Woo! 
anyways, go to Instagram, uh, Peckles with a Zero. Kyle's there. He's a super talented artist. He's really into sci-fi. He has his own cool little sci-fi projects he's got going on there. Comment down below. Let him know you come from As Art. And on that note, we'll see you on the next Dune Deep Dive on As Art. <laughs> There's a worm in my boot. Ooh. Oh, you were waiting. You know, do you just come up with these right then or do you yes. have these? No, it literally is right then. I